Creatine is synthesized in the kidneys, liver, and pancreas. It is transported in the blood to other organs, especially brain and muscle, where it is phosphorylated to phosphocreatine. Phosphocreatine is a high energy compound, and interconversion of phosphocreatine to creatine is important to muscle function. Creatinine is the waste product derived from creatine and phosphocreatine. Creatine in production is related to the muscle mass of an individual. The higher the muscle mass, the greater the creatine in production. Women usually excrete 1.2 grams of creatinine per day, while men excrete 1.5 grams per day. Serum creatinine levels are affected by gender, age, weight, lean body mass, and dietary protein intake. Creatinine is filtered and excreted by the kidney. So plasma creatinine is inversely related to the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. However, GFR can decrease by up to 50% before plasma creatinine concentration rises above the normal range. So what should we consider when interpreting the plasma creatinine level? A normal plasma creatinine level does not necessarily mean renal function is normal. And changes in creatinine levels can occur without change in renal function, for example, due to a change in muscle mass. Also note that in pregnancy, due to an increase in GFR, the level of creatinine typically falls. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.